Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duist Arm here today, back with another Black Desert video. Today's video will be taking a look at the most recent patch that went live in Black Desert on November 10th of 2021. Go over all the events, that way you don't miss anything, as well as all the important stuff from the patch, that way you can take advantage of it. This is the life skilling patch that you have been waiting for as a life skiller, so without further ado, let's get into it. Let's take a look at the first event, which is a life skilling event for farming. So if you've ever done farming before in Black Desert, or you grow crops farming, not like farming mobs, uh, you have a chance to spawn these little mole dudes. If a mole dude spawns, you get free crap. Basically, increased rate at the mole dude spawning for the next two weeks. So pretty cool. Second event is obtained while gathering. So while you are out gathering in Black Desert, you have the chance to pick up this guy right here. Can't get it from water scooping, digging with a shovel, or milking though. If you get this item, take it over to the NPC Valentine in Florian. And if you don't know who that is, you can use the find NPC function right here and type in Valentine. And you will see he's the chief of Florian. And if you click on it, it will drop a waypoint on your map and take you exactly to where you need to go. But anyway, take it over to him and you will receive one of the different items right here. And then you can exchange those different items with the NPC for various ancient spirit dust. So bonus Kaffir stones while you're out and about doing your gathering that you normally would be doing already as a life skiller. To go along with that, we have an event that's literally called life skill time. So in Black Desert, if you look up at the top of the screen, you'll see that there is a life EXP boost to pretty much everything for 50%. So that's part one of this event right here. Part two is the Delmar Life Toolbox. So if you press the Y key on the keyboard, it'll bring up your little received items tab. In here, you will see the special aid Delmar Life Tool. I don't know why I'm saying Delmar. It clearly says Demahar. Okay, I'm sorry. If you claim that item, it's going to give you the box and you can open the box to obtain one of the different tools. These tools have a 14 day period on them after you open them up. And if we say compare the butcher knife to my pen Manos butcher knife, you can see that its main drawing point is that it gives you a 50% gathering EXP buff as well as a higher gathering item drop rate. However, it does not provide you any mastery, which means if you have super high mastery, it might not be the best thing for you. I remember last time they did this event, last time they ran it, I had a Tet woodcutting axe, I believe at the time, and I was actually racking in more items with that back with like maybe 1300, 1400 mastery. So this event is great if you're just starting out in life skilling or wanna try out different life skills and whatnot. And I might have just had bad RNG when I used it, but personally didn't feel a really great bonus to it if I was already heavily invested in life scaling. But still, if you're trying to get into it, nice little bonus. Plus the EXP might be worth it if you're trying to power level something like your gathering to be able to take advantage of something like the energy cost reduction that you get at master. So if you're trying to power level something like that, uh, it's definitely something to consider. Now the final part of this event, and probably the best part of the event, is the Valentine Special Catalyst. If you press the Y key on the keyboard and log into the game, for one hour, you are going to receive this Valentine Special Catalyst. This thing can be combined with a normal loot scroll to provide you with a mastery scroll for life skilling. So these are like loot scrolls for life skillers. They very rarely have these. I have 16 of these left from the last time they ran this event. And really the only way to get these is through buying them or through events and whatnot. And this is a great event to stockpile up on these items and be able to have these if you are a life skiller. So really make sure to log in for that hour a day. If you are into life skilling, it's worth it. I'm going to log in literally every day after work just to make sure that I get this item. What it actually does is provide you 100 life skill mastery as well as 20% life skill EXP. As you know, with gathering, it's like 5 million silver per 50 mastery. So this is basically an extra 10 million silver per hour with the scroll on. Next up, we have a Twitch stream drop event going on. So link your Black Desert account by logging in here on the Black Desert page to your Twitch page. Then you have to redeem the drops from the Twitch page to be able to actually get these items. But basically for watching streamers who have drops enabled, you will have the items that you see right here. So for watching for 15 hours, you're going to get a Shikantu box, memory fragments, artisan's memories, 1100 loyalties at nine hours, big pickup right there. And yeah, just some free crap for watching streamers. Also every day for watching two hours, you'll receive 11 Kronstouts. The rest of this page also shows you how to go ahead and redeem these items from your in-game uh, mailbox here. So if you're having difficulty claiming them, uh, consider looking at this page and it will help you figure that out. Basically, you just got to go to your web storage tab and redeem them. The next and final event I want to pick out is the Black Desert PC Cross Console Calpheon Ball Art Festival. So this is running from November 8th, a couple days ago, through November 28th. Basically, what you need to do is submit an art submission using this submission form that you see right here, and then there are going to be various prizes awarded to the three different categories. So first up is through illustrations, then through videos or music, and then just a general catch-all category as the third category. So there'll be three grand prize winners, one for each category, three runner-ups, and three excellence prizes. So if we look through the prizes that are available, you have an Apple iPod Pro thing, iPad Pro. I don't know, dude, I use Windows. Plus an Apple Pencil, I uh, really don't know. But hey, free crap, hey, you get the idea, you can read. There's a lot of crap here, free stuff, always nice to get stuff. That's going to bring us into the patch notes themselves, and we already covered all the different events that are going on, so nothing too crazy to cover there. 
news and improvements doesn't really have anything in this first section other than they're separating different costume pieces and whatnot nothing too crazy big change though is in the boss scrolls so the ancient relic crystal boss scrolls so these guys right here ancient relic crystal shards you can now combine these and run them multiple at a time so you can pump in a bunch of scrolls you can also run them in a party a bunch at a time as well doing this is going to increase the difficulty of the mob by your Doing multiple of these scrolls at a time are going to increase the difficulty of the boss as well as increase the co-op rewards that you can receive by allowing your entire party to also put scrolls in and then everybody gets completion of the quest. So basically it lets you clear through these faster, gives you more incentive to do them as a party, all of those good sorts of things. Some nice cooperative, jolly cooperative PvE content to partake in. Another important change here, maybe not important but a cool change to make sure you're getting all of the knowledge here in Black Desert, is that the next time you play through the story on a character, there will be a little ribbon that tells you how many times you've completed a crossroad. So if you're missing the knowledge that is obtained from one of the crossroads that could be impacting your energy or whatnot, it'll let you know that you're missing that by giving you a non-ribbon identified quest line. Also might be useful for the new card game that should be coming sometime in the near-ish future as well, where you're going to need knowledge of a bunch of different topics to be able to win. So, nice little feature right there. Another patch with a bunch of information about Conquest Wars and Node Wars, and once again, as I say in every patch notes video, I don't do PvP content, you do not want to watch any PvP information from me. Another feature that was added is on the guild page. In your guild, if you go to the Find Party Platoon option, you can now post an ad for parties within your guild if you're trying to find people to play with. And beyond that, nothing too crazy as far as major things that you're going to want to pay attention to. So, that's it for the stuff from this patch. There's one more thing that I want to cover and talk about that I forgot to mention in my video from last time. I put a comment calling it out, but I really want to make sure that everybody's aware of this fact, this feature, this change that's coming to the game. And that change is to the Oasis gear. So I know a lot of people have been living off of these Oasis Cron meals, as well as the Oasis gear for your boss alts. The Oasis event is going away on the 24th. You only have a couple more weeks left to take advantage of the Oasis event. Basically, when this Oasis Dream Chest Galore event ends right here in your Challenges menu, that is when the Oasis vent is done. Now the patch notes themselves did say that they're going to be adding something else in. They didn't say what it is, no real information about it. So we might be getting something better, we might be getting something worse, we might not be getting anything at all. Because of that, I'm going to put out a video sometime next week that goes through all the different things you can do to set yourself up as the Oasis event is ending. That way you can get yourself in a state that you have minimal impact from it. So be on the lookout for that video next week and be aware of the change that's coming up pretty soon. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this video. So if this video is going to help you here in Black Desert, do let me know. If you're going to take advantage of these different events, let me know as well. I know I certainly will be taking advantage of the life skilling ones. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching the video. I look forward to seeing you at the next Twitch live stream, the next YouTube video right here, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.